the Olatangi Cavern, which is a cavern that is 50 million years old plus. It's amazing the history this place has. Beyond how old and the fossils that they have found in this cavern, they have found several different tribes in this caverns, evidence of the tribes that would be. They have the Wyandot, the Colquell, and the Athena. And then in the museum, there is several artifacts that shows arrowheads and different, uh, different stone wares that the Native Americans made. So the reason why we're here today is because this is one of the most incredibly amazing places for energy in my, my, as far as I can see. When I'm here, I can feel energy almost in every space of this cavern. So if we could just go ahead and we're gonna walk through, I'm gonna show you some places that uh, has printed energy. It feels like of a man who was actually found here. They found several skeletons within the cavern. There's some stories here of a Native American that was murdered by his own people. And there's also seems to be a lot of children energy running around here. So we're gonna take you in some of the chambers. So this rock is called Council Rock. And while we're not allowed to touch it, we're not supposed to touch any of the walls or any of the stone within the cavern itself. It is really interesting to put your hands or hover your hands just a few inches above and you can feel energy coming from this rock. Now there's a lot of sacred work that was done here for sure. They found a lot of different arrowheads and different tools, stone tools cluttered across this, this rock. Yeah. So they do have many pieces within the museum. And so when you do come down here, try to just hover your hands a few inches above, close your eyes, take a nice deep breath. You see what you're interpreting. I could feel several different chiefs and many different, there's, there's several layers here, different layers of time that did some sacred work here. But also I feel like this was a table where they worked with skins and honored the deer, the deer medicine. I could see that there was legs, that the bones were cut very deliberately and dressed to trade um, on the trail and that there was sacred medicine brought into that. So it was a very special gift or barter on the trail. Also, I feel like there was medicine made in a sacred way on this rock, on the council rock. I feel like there was herbs that was brought in and they would work as like a pumice or they would uh, separate the herbs and blessed. It feels like there was a sacred shaman type energy here that did some blessing with, with different plants and even the animal, the animal skins himself was blessed in a way to bring in magic. So when you, please, when you come here, please check this energy out here. This is one of the main focus areas within the cavern that you'll want to try to take in some time. And by the way, if you get here a little bit later, perhaps on an off season, you could be down here by yourself. You and your friend could be down here to examine. Just as long as you're being responsible, they'll allow this, I'm sure, to continue. So if you come down here, maybe you can bring a, a recorder and, and ask some questions and see what comes back to you. This is a great place for EMF for electronic voice phenomena. So we're in the tower room, and this is by far the most energized area that I have been in, in this cavern. This is the reason why we're here today, is because I remember the last time I came here, distinctly feeling a male's energy and talking to him, feeling his presence, hearing him, and 
he was in the upper 20s and I feel him again here today. Now, I feel like he ended up with a broken neck. He had a fall and they do apparently have some documentation of skeletal remains of one perhaps uh, fall victim here and also a Native American that was murdered at the mouth of the cavern. Within the cavern itself, you're gonna feel a lot of different energies if you are sensitive to that. Some children's energy seems to be running right past you, right past your legs. You can feel them almost like a sensation of hide and seek. And also there does seem to be two, perhaps three men's energy that I can feel within the cavern and then a Native American. The spirit of a Native American is very thick here. And I can feel the history, but I can't say that I feel the presence of many entities or spirits other than one. Now that can change from time day to day, energetically, how we're aligned. It can, um, you know, maybe I'll come back here in a week and feel like the whole tribal room is filled. Uh, I really don't know how that would go, but you know, you might have your own experience that you feel many more Native Americans here present in the caverns, it wouldn't surprise me at all. But anyhow, this is a wonderful place to come and to tap in. I don't feel like there's anything here that's gonna hurt you as far as take drain your energy. It's old energy here, very ancient. So, so it's a prime place to learn about how you tap in to your own psychic senses. Now understand that this is a sacred space. So this is something that when you come down here in the cavern, you definitely want to be very respectful and honor this space, but honor the energy for, it seems to be as much as we honor them, they will honor us back and no harm will be done on either account. So please come in and take your time, feel the energy, allow it to work through you, see what it has to say. You can actually feel the, your, yourself going back in history a little bit. It's a wonderful place to practice working with, this, with psychic development and just take your time and breathe. Breathing seems to be the best way to pick up the energy here. Taking in a breath, you're gonna feel the process of the energy coming through. You'll interpret it, whether it's male, masculine or feminine, whether this is a child, and maybe even be able to visualize how the, how the person passed on, whether it was traumatic, whether it was asphyxiation, a broken neck perhaps. Um, there has been a lot of uh, different accounts of different uh, deaths in this cavern, so just take your time and interpret it. I think you'll enjoy the space it's, uh, again, one of my most fascinating places in Ohio that I like to investigate. Again, my name is Laura Lynn. Thank you so much for joining me on this venture.